Welcome, sir or madam, to Crazy Wolfgang's Traveling Junk Store, the depot of detritus, the shop of slop, and the caravan of crap. Now, what odds and ends can I, the craziest of all possible Wolfgangs, offer to you? Whatever you've got, I've got just the thing to fix it. Nothing but the highest quality leftovers, junk, and crap. Good luck out there, and maybe next time you'll find something interesting for me, huh? Apologize for the rude welcome. Those two have been a bit of a problem lately. Name's Roe. Uncle Roe to most. Welcome to Canterbury Commons. For what that's worth. The, um, mechanist and the ant agonizer. That's just what they call themselves. It's ridiculous, I know. A while ago, we were attacked by the ant agonizer. That woman with the ants, obviously. The mechanist saved the town with his robots. Well, that was all well and good, but I swear their fights are getting bigger, and it's been driving off the merchants. They simply won't leave. Two hundred caps if you can find where the ant agonizer and the mechanist hide and convince them to stop their rivalry or otherwise stop fighting. You only need to stop one of them, really. Nowadays, I think they only stay in Canterbury to fight each other. So what do you say? Hmm, you drive a hard bargain, friend. But seeing how we haven't been able to solve the problem ourselves, fine. You've got a deal. But I expect results. Oh, and please do try to use some discretion. We already have plenty of would-be heroes starting wars in our streets. We don't need another. If it'll help, I'm glad to. One day there was a crazy woman leading a bunch of ants into town. She said humanity was dead and the ants would inherit the earth. Stuff like that. Well, that gave Dom plenty of time to line up a shot or two on the ants. She ran away, but every once in a while she'd stage an attack again. She wasn't much of a threat then. In fact, she was sort of entertaining at first. Gave everyone in town something to talk about. But when the mechanists started fighting her, things got bad. Ants are easy to shoot, but add robots with lasers, it got real nasty. The mechanist used to be our town mechanic, Scott Walensky. Quiet guy, but plenty fierce with a wrench and some solder. Guy used to take care of a robot that protected the town until it got torn up in one of the ant agonizer's lame little attacks. I guess he took it personal because he made a mechanical suit and called himself the Mechanist, said he would lead a robot army to fight her. Now he doesn't even respond to his name, and his robot army is more dangerous to the town than the ants ever were. My nephew Derek might know more about them. I swear it's all I can do to keep him from running into the fight whenever they come out. He might know more about where you can find them, but don't encourage the poor boy. He's had enough close calls. I most heartily agree. Ha! Damn near everything I suspect. I found it the place myself, and I'm the reason this place stays fat and happy. Because I asked them to, I suspect. I grew up in these trade caravans, known most of them my whole life. 
I founded this place with my sister Daisy back in the day. Perfect stop along the caravan circuit. They're just small caravans that make rounds through the wastes, hawking their wares from Paradise Falls to Rivet City. They won't trade with anyone who's hit their friends, but that's about as organized as they get. I had thought about it, but some of these wasteland traders, well, they aren't exactly the organizational type. It'd take a pretty savvy businessman to make it worth their while to work together. Frankly, I'm not sure even I'm up to the task. That... that certainly is quite a lot of caps. It really would be a shame for those to go to waste, wouldn't it? I suppose I can call in a few favors with the caravans, talk with them about their inventory. Must keep the customers happy, right? So you just let me know what you'd like to see from the caravans, and I'll let them know what to focus on. That'd be Crazy Wolfgang. He does repairs and general supplies, but he prefers to call himself a junk dealer. As he says, he's overjoyed to assist those who have a deep need for his... <laughs> junk. He's just like that. Says it catches people's attention. With an investment of about 200 caps, I'm sure he could improve the quality of his materials, or at least offer more of them. Excellent. I'll see to it right away. All right, you're the boss. Sure thing. Then you'd be looking for Lucky Harith. Adventurer, martial artist, and occasional collector of the most deadly items known to mankind. He's a bit of an eccentric, but he deals in more weaponry than you can shake a sharp stick at. In fact, he's probably got a sharp stick, too. Harith's got quite a lot of weapons, but I'm sure he could improve his stock. An investment of 200 caps should see to that nicely. Excellent. Harith will be delighted. He usually is by most things, really. If Harith were a less reputable man, I'm sure he could use his armory to collect even more weapons. But he's a merchant, not a raider. So it's legitimate means only. A legitimate investment of 500 caps. An investment in weaponry is usually returned in short order, after all. I'll inform Harith. Sure thing. Interested in any of the other traders? Our man Crow handles most armor and clothing out on the trail. He grew up a tribal, but he traded in his loincloth for much snappier apparel long ago. It takes a fair amount of capital to expand into higher quality material, you know. Improving Crow's wardrobe would require a one-time investment of, say, 200 caps. Excellent. I'll send word to Crow right away. Sure thing. Ah, then you'll be wanting Doc Hoff, or the good doctor, as he prefers. He prescribes everything from a good meal to stim packs to things that'll make your brain get up and dance. The good doctor's lab equipment isn't cheap. It'll cost about 200 caps for him to offer higher quality material. Excellent. I'll send word to the good doctor right away. Sure thing. Interested in any of the other traders? All right, you're the boss. Glad to help. You'll want to talk with Joe Porter over in Dot's Diner. I don't know who Dot was, but I'm sure Porter's food does her memory proud. When they're in town, you can find the caravan trader out front of the town. They say it's a good way to catch a visitor's eye. Enjoy. We used to have a... You can usually find one of the trade caravans at the entrance to... Other than them, Porter's always got food for sale down at the diner. Good luck with those two troublemakers.
What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Fine. Hi. Whatever. I'm Machete, and I've got better things to do than talk with you. Scram. I know Dom doesn't want me just killing them. He and the Mechanist used to be friends or something. All I know is, next time they come to town, I bet I could solve the whole problem with one bullet for each of them. This whole place would fall apart if it weren't for Dom and me keeping anyone from causing too much trouble. Fat old Roe may think he runs the place, but it's only because Dom lets the idiot. Good to see you. And he just stumbled into town? He sure picked a fine day for it, with the crazies out there. Here, have a drink on the house. Welcome to Canterbury. I'm Joe Porter. I make sure folks around here can get a meal when they need it. We do our best. Well, Dom and Ro do their best. I just make sure they've got enough food so they can keep on doing their best. You ever find yourself starving around here, drop by Dot's Diner. We don't charge much, but don't expect any more freebies. You mean apart from having cheesy names? Actually, I think I might know something useful. One of the traders told me she sounded like a girl he used to know. Girl's whole family was wiped out by ants. Not long before she showed up here. But they never found any trace of her body. Said her name was Tanya Kristoff. That might just be our little antagonizer. Sure thing. Where are you headed? See you right. Best place I ever worked in. And I guess I've worked about everywhere there is. We get some weird types passing through, but it's stable enough for a guy to make an honest living. I don't really see what more men could ask for. Only the best. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Bye. Hello? Oh man, did you see it? Did you see it? The antagonizer was all like, fear me! But the mechanist was all, stop, evildoer! You sound like Uncle Ro. He never lets me watch when they fight. They're just about the only exciting thing that ever happens in this town. Yeah, I guess. There's no one to play with. Everyone is so serious. It really kind of sucks. But the antagonizer's strong and forceful. And the mechanist, he's smart and good. They make things fun. Well, exciting anyway. I bet it's awesome to be them. Maybe they'll let me be their sidekick. You mean the superheroes? Yeah, I'll try to watch all of their fights. I don't know much about her except she really, really doesn't like people. That's kind of cool. I mean, sometimes people are jerks. I think her lair is somewhere in the caves to the north of the city. I've seen her ants down there once in a while. Joe Porter said he found out something about her, but my uncle won't let him tell me. He says, don't encourage the poor boy. I knew the mechanist back when he was just a normal hero. He used to be called Scott. Then he fixed up stuff around town. But one day, the antagonizer killed his favorite robot. And I told him he ought to fight back against her like a real superhero. Ever since then, he's been up on his forge in the back of the robot shop on the hill, working to protect us all from the antagonizer. No way! Don't stop them, they're awesome! Unless... Maybe you're going to be a superhero too. You could be called super humongous and fight them with an army of super mutants. Well, okay. It's okay, I guess. I heard it's safer than most places because the raiders don't bother us. But I've never been anywhere else, so I don't know. Say hi to the mechanist for me.
newcomer to town, huh? Well, I'm Dominic Delisadro, and welcome to Canterbury Commons. Try to ignore the idiots in the costumes. Popular activities around town are trading, listening to Royak, and burying thieves in unmarked graves. Of course, we ran out of thieves to bury long ago. Saw to it myself. Might be a dead art, unless you're planning on stealing anything. Sounds like a good plan. Keeps the traders happy that way. And it means Machete and I get to save on ammo. Bro hired you to put a stop to their shit, did he? Guess he finally listened when I told him I haven't got the time to do it myself. It's easy enough to hide inside when those two square off, but they're only getting worse about it all. I don't know who she is other than a crazy with an ant suit and a chip on her shoulder for humanity. She wasn't much trouble by herself, really. Her attacks were a joke, but at least stories of her kept some of the raiders at bay. If it helps, she was always attacking from the Warrens up north. Maybe you can find her ant nest in there. You mean Scott Walensky? I refuse to call him by that ridiculous name just because his head got a screw loose. He used to be a damn good friend, and not just because he fixed my guns up. Now he spends all his time up in that bot shop just thinking about fighting that ant agonizer. Hardly even recognizes his own name anymore. If you could just make either one of them stop fighting, it'd do the trick. You probably wouldn't have to worry about the other one. I can't imagine Scott attacking the town with his robots, and that ant agonizer girl was never much more than a sideshow freak by herself. Pro may prefer that you're thorough, but all I care about is that you get the job done, one way or the other. Fine by me. Canterbury's a good town. Rose done a damned good job setting up the place, and no one can handle the day-to-day -day details like him. But when it comes to the big stuff, that's when he needs a little help. That's where I come in. Life and death matters. Putting down thieves. Protecting people from raiders who are short-sighted or stupid enough to attack, that sort of thing. Pretty much. Anything the man can't solve by talking at it. And don't misunderstand, he can solve a lot of things that way. I'm about the rarest thing out here in the wastes, a mercenary who lived long enough to retire. I used to sell my services around here, so it was a natural place to settle down. Not a bad sort of retirement, honestly. If you're done asking questions, I'm sure there's something I should be keeping an eye on. Later. Hey.
Good to see you. Dom doesn't want me just killing them. He and the Mechanist used to be friends or something. All I know is, next time they come to town, I bet I could solve the whole problem with one bullet for each of them. it on the level and everything will be fine. Hey, hey, looking to buy? Nothing but the highest quality leftovers, junk, and crap. Pleasure doing business with you. See you out on the road, huh? Send you? Speak now, citizen, or I'll be forced to detain you until I can ascertain your true motives. I realize you mean well, but I'm afraid you're being naive. The antagonizer is a madwoman, and the only thing that will stop her is force. As much as I wish peace were an option, the antagonizer is too deluded, too inhuman to listen to reason. Sadly, sometimes the scaly claw of tyranny must be destroyed by the cold, unfeeling pincers of justice. Is... is that true?
Move along, please. Move along, please. Pride the shell off that meaty little mechanist. Give it to me. You would dare to tell the antagonizer to wait? No human commands the Ant Queen. But as you have defeated my nemesis, I will allow you to talk. Quickly. Perhaps humanity isn't dead yet. But I'll be sure to help it along. Its writhing corpse shall feed my colony well. Now, my royal ant guard, kill this commoner!
What's up? Take a look. Another satisfied customer. Carefully. Um, yes? You mean the superheroes? Well, okay. Say hi to the mechanist for me. Fighting, I never did get to give you the official welcome to the town, did I? Welcome to Canterbury Commons, home of traders, caravanners, and most of all, of excellent bargains. Here for business or pleasure? Most of the caravans that come through, their fondest desire is to spend a few days off the road and to get a full stomach. We've got good food in the diner and we try to keep it nice and peaceful here. And that's an option, of course. That's grand. I do believe it's fair to say you've saved Canterbury. And unlike that mechanist, you did so with significantly less stress all around. Now, I do believe this is our agreed-upon payment for your fine services rendered, and a little bonus as a special thank you. I'll see what I can do. Bye. Um, yes? See you later, alligator. Staying out of trouble? Canterbury is a good town. Bro's done a damned good job setting up the place, and no one can handle the day-to-day -day details like him. But when it comes to the big stuff, that's when he needs a little help. That's where I come in. If you're done asking questions, I'm sure there's something I should be keeping an eye on. Bye. Searching for a friend out in the wastes? No one is more reliable than a cold, hard skin of steel. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Stay safe on the path you travel. Morning!